Hello again guys, it's Vibs here from Design Coder. Before we start the actual topic, let me show you how you can get all the videos in this current series by typing slide in Udemy on Google. Open the first link that points to my Udemy profile. Don't worry about the prices written on any of these. I have discount coupons activated if you're a Slidenerd subscriber that give you on 90% off. You can just click redeem a coupon here and enter the coupon code as Slidenerd and click apply. Once you do that, bam, take a look at that. All you have to do now is click take a course here and log in and complete the payment gateway and we are good to go. In the previous video, I told you what is Git and GitHub from a high level. In this video, I will show you how to install Git and share your Hello World app on GitHub. The first step is to check if we already have Git installed on our system. The way you do that is either start terminal on your Mac or start command prompt on your Windows and simply type Git. Now here it shows you a list of commands that are available which means Git is already installed. You can also check the version of Git installed by saying Git space dash dash version over here and once you do that it says apple git 60 over here and 2.4.9 over here now my git was installed along with xcode command line tools at the beginning before i put studio on your system if there is no git you would get a message that says git is not recognized as an internal or external command or a message similar so let me show you how to install git first and then we can get started with how to use it to share our project on GitHub. For the first step, simply go to Google and type download Git. You're taken to the site git-sem.com slash downloads from here where you see what version you're using. For me, it's Mac OS X. If you're on Windows, you can select Windows out here and you can get the appropriate file for your version. And it says your download is starting. If it hasn't started, click here to download manually. Now notice that in the terminal it said 2.4.9 as the git version and here it says you're downloading 2.6.2. This is a recent version compared to what I already have which means I'm going to install it anyway. So once you click that link at the bottom here you can see that git is started downloading. So now the download is complete. I have the file on my desktop just double click it and immediately I have this window that pops open. I will select this package file to install and it says you'll be guided to the steps I'll click continue change install location and I will select my Macintosh HD over here which is the only location it shows and click install it is going to ask me for the password once I enter the password I'll click install software and as you know it says the installation was successful click close and also close this as well you don't need the drive either we can just eject it by clicking eject over it and we are good now you can again go back to the terminal or command prompt and test stuff by typing git you can also say git dash dash version after putting a space before the dash just hit return or enter and in this time it says the version is 2.6.2 for me which was previously 2.4.9 and if you're installing for the first time you should still see a version number over here the next step is to create an account on github.com which is going to host your git repositories online. Now I already have an account on github which is github forward slash slide node where I'll be putting up my stuff on github. But for the purposes of demonstration I'll be showing you how to set up an account on github with the help of a dummy account. So I will simply say sign up over here it says create your username I'll simply call it something email address and password. And once I'm done with that, I will click create an account over there and it says choose your plan. Now GitHub is free for basic use. So I'll select the free plan which says chosen here by default and I will say finish sign up over here. Once I'm here, you notice immediately it says create a new repository, it says create your first repository, learn more, etc. In the meanwhile, I'll go back to my email address which I gave and I'll simply select this option that says verify the email address. And once that is done, we are back to the GitHub page with a verified email ID. Now without doing anything out there on your repository, come back to Android Studio. Here you go to this option called VCS where you say import your project into version control, share the project on GitHub, click on that 
Once you do that, it is going to ask you the login details for your GitHub, which would be the email and password in your case. So once you enter the details, click login and it says, would you like to set up a master password? Leave blank to disable the protection. I'll click okay for now, leave it blank. And then it's going to ask you the name of the repository. Let us just say this is a simple hello world project in Android. Once done, click share. And you notice that you're taken to the staging area of Git, which we discussed in the previous video. A file is going to keep track of all the things that you need to add for the next version. Now, this is the first version, which means we need to add all the files or save all the files to Git. And there is a message at the bottom that says commit message. Here, you would usually write what has changed since the last time you saved the project. This is the first commit, so I'll simply go here and say this is the first commit. And I will click OK over there. So once done, I get this pop-up over here that says the project was successfully shared on GitHub. Let's click on this and we will be taken to our repository. Bam! Take a look at that. There's our project where we can put all our code. We can add a readme file here, edit whatever you want, write something inside it. Let me show you how to include a snapshot of your project over here as well. So for that, you go to Android Studio and let's say you run one of the emulators here by starting our Jenny Motion Manager. Select the Google Nexus 5 device, click start. So there's our app running inside the Jenny Motion emulator. Now I would like to take a screenshot of this and put it up on GitHub. The way I can do that, there are several ways actually. One of them is right here in Android Studio. If I go to the Android monitor, which is right there, I have this option of taking a picture by saying screen capture over there. Once I click on it, it says obtaining screenshot from the device and you notice that we have the screen over here. We can edit it a bit by saying rotate or something and click save over here. And it says, where do you wanna save it? Well, I'll keep it on my desktop for now. So select the desktop, click okay and the screenshot has been saved. Now let's go and add this over here to the readme file on GitHub. Now the way you do that is to first open a temporary issue. GitHub has a file manager. However, it doesn't let you directly add images from here. So we gotta find a way to tweak and add images. So for the issue part, I'm gonna simply say new issue over here and it says attach files by dragging and dropping them. I'll click select over here and take my image which was put up as you notice right here click open and you notice that the file has been uploaded and most importantly i get a url over here i'm going to select or copy this complete url go to my readme file here and just paste it over there so once the paste is done i'll simply go down and say commit new file and at this point if you go down you should be able to see our snapshot as well take a look at that bam but it's quite possible that you got an error while trying to push to git saying error 403 cannot push. In that case, be sure to Google it out saying git URL 403 error and you're taken to stack overflow. Now there are some solutions out here, but one of them I want to point out is that if you have Apple keychain installed on your Mac OS X, it may interfere with your push operation. So be sure to read this stack overflow post if you run into the case where the push doesn't work successfully. So coming back, let me show you how to actually modify or add a file and then save it to Git. So the first step is we simply go here to our package io.designcoder.helloworld, right click, say new, Java class, call it whatever you want. Let's call it test, click okay. And it says immediately, do you wanna add this file to Git? And you can check this option saying that don't ask again, but I prefer it asking me every time. So I will click yes here and there is my class test. Now inside this, I'll just write something for now. I can go ahead and make a string here. And that's all I wanna do. At the same time, I go to my activity here. Let me also modify this file by going down and making a comment over here that says, look, this is the layout I'm linking. So once I made the comment, this file has been modified as well. Now, to save this to GitHub, you go at the top here to VCS, and you go to this option that says commit changes, which means save changes to GitHub. So click on commit changes over there and initially the changes will be saved locally on your repository from where you will be pushing. Notice that the staging area takes all the files that have changed since the last commit. In our case, 
There are five files here that talk about cache and bin and XML, but very importantly, there is test.java, which is new, and there are six modified files out of which myActivity.java is one of them. Here, I'll simply say added a comment in this commit message. So once I have the commit message here, I can select to rearrange code or reformat code, optimize imports, etc. And I will uncheck this option that says perform code analysis for now and commit. And notice this option that says commit and push. Commit is going to simply save it to your local git, whereas commit and push will save it and push it to the server as well. And that's exactly what I want. So here I have my push screen ready that says push this file to GitHub and I will simply click push over here. And if all is good, it would simply say seven files are committed at the bottom. Take a look at that. It says remote changes need to be merged. Push of the current branch was rejected. I'll click merge over there and push was successful. So now we can go to our repository over here on my pirate app and we can go to app source inside our main folder in Java. We should be able to find the test.java as well. And if you go to my activity, you will be able to see the comment that we just added here in the latest version. So this is how you can use Git and GitHub from Android Studio. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.